Hi girls, in this video I will do a full review of the Medela Swing Single Electric Breast Pump. I will show you how to assemble it, how to use it, what comes in the box, and I'll also share my personal opinion on this pump, so stay tuned. If you're new here, then welcome! My name is Karina. I make motherhood and lifestyle videos every week, so subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about a fresh video every Thursday. Now let me show you how to put this pump together. So this is the portable motor. You can either plug it into the wall and for this you will need this adapter. You need to plug one end of it into the motor right here and the other one into the wall, right? But you can use it with batteries, so you don't need this. You just need to open this compartment right here and insert four AA batteries and you're good to go. Okay, after this we take the tube and we need to find the triangle end of it right here and insert it into the motor on the other side, like this. Now let's assemble the pump body. This is how it looks and let's attach the breast shield right here. So this pump came with 24 millimeter breast shield, but you need to make sure it fits you because it's really important. And I will leave the link to the guide to how to measure yourself to pick the right size of this shield in the description down below. So now you're ready to get to these two parts. This is a valve and this is a membrane. You need to snap this little white thing into the valve until it lays flat like this. And now you're ready to screw it into the other side of the body. Now you're ready to screw a bottle. And now we just need to insert the remaining end of the tube on the top right here. And that's it, you're ready to go. When I tried to put it together for the first time, it seemed really hard, but you will get used to it. Now, how do you turn it on? Let's take a look at the motor. This pump has two-phase expression. After you centered your breast shield over your nipple, you can press this button right here. It's on and off button. It will start the stimulation phase, which is like soft pump in motion. In two minutes, this pump will automatically switch to the expression phase, but you can do it manually and you can press this button with drops on it. You can also adjust the vacuum power by simply pressing the plus and minus buttons and that's all. You just need to make sure to don't tilt or overfill your bottle while pumping. Now let's see what else came in the box with this pump. So here is an extra bottle with a lid. This is a drawstring bag that I haven't opened yet but you can store here all the parts. This is a strap that you can attach to the motor. Also, the motor has this clip that you can attach to your belt and literally pump and go. What else is here? So these are extra membranes, which is really cool because this is actually what creates the suction and if the membrane rips, you need to replace it because your pump probably won't work. So this is good. And my favorite part, my favorite accessory is this bottle stand. It prevents your milk from spilling and I really enjoy using it. I know that some of those come with a nipple for your bottle, but mine didn't. However, I'm sure you can purchase this separately and uh, it can be a great attachment to the bottle. So you can feed your baby straight from the bottle you pumped in and it will save you some time and some milk because it always drips while pouring. Now let me tell you my opinion about this pump. I enjoy using it. It does a great job. I have never had any issues with it. It works perfectly. All the parts are great quality. As I said, I really enjoy this bottle stand and I really love how small and portable and lightweight this motor is. However, there is a downside to this pump. You can only pump one side at a time. But if you watched my breastfeeding series, you know that I don't pump very often, so it doesn't really bother me. If you haven't seen those videos, I will leave the link to the playlist on top here and in the description down below. There you can see our NICU experience, learn the trick how to avoid engorgement, find out how I started my lactation with pumping, and see my breastfeeding essentials. 
So this pump is a great fit for a mom who plans on pumping only occasionally. It is also the most affordable version of the Medela electric breast pumps. But it can also be your second breast pump for when you're on the go. However, if you pump every day, many times a day, I'm sure that the Medela Swing double electric breast pump will save you a lot of time. Overall, the Medela Swing Single Electric Breast Pump is a great product and I can totally recommend you buying it. And thank you for watching, that's all for this review. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to don't miss out on more videos like this. I want to wish you to have a happy motherhood and I'll see you next week. Bye!